I think you can make a pretty good argument that healthcare might be dead. Really? Yeah, because I look, there, there is, I think it's going to be very hard to ask us in the House to take the Senate bill when everyone acknowledges it was a worse bill. Everyone said the only reason we were, we were passing the Senate bill is to move the ball forward. So, so just a small indication of the obstacles ahead if they try to get this, try to get salvage something out of health care if they lose the 60 votes. Kevin Madden, it, it does seem like one of those chances where, you know, we like to overread election results in, in these things, but this is huge. There's just no way around it. The bigger peril will be to underread these election uh, <laughs> results. I think for the Democrats to say that this was um, just a choice between local candidates and that this was not a uh, manifestation of a lot of voter frustrations and anxieties about the direction that Washington is taking, the direction that entities that are established, be they uh, parties or, or institutions, um, I think that is, um, that is probably the greater um, uh, obstacle right now for the Democrats is how do they maneuver around that? It's impossible to see this as just locally. I mean, especially on the heels of New Jersey and Virginia and seeing what happened with independent voters there was, as well. And, right? right. I, no, I, no, just, I, I agree with you. And what's interesting is that both parties, um, Republicans and Democrats, found it in their interest to nationalize it in the last week. That's, that's an interesting point as well. I, I, turn for a moment. Let, uh, let's assume uh, Scott Brown wins this election right. and they lose their supermajority in the Senate. This issue of how to move forward on health care, uh, what... What option do they have? I mean, you can't, you've never heard a president sort yeah. of just get up there and say, I failed, it's Whoops. over, we're pulling the bill, sorry, sorry. I'm sorry to waste your time for the last eight months. So they clearly are invested enough that they have to move it forward somehow. But I, I, Steny Hoyer saying this morning, we can pass this in the next 15 days. I, the idea <laughs> of trying to get it through should they lose this seems uh, just imperiling for them. It just seems like very dangerous it is to do that in terms of a PR backlash. It is hard for you to even ask the question because there seems to be no logical answer to it. Um, for Democrats to uh, press forward with a, uh, a bill that is, by all accounts, um, not unpopular with people, even in a deep blue state like Massachusetts, as well as nationally, um, for them to do so or to do it procedurally um, would be a tremendous uh, PR backlash. I mean, it would be, uh, you know, it would be, they'd be demonstrating, both the party and the president would be demonstrating a political tin ear here. And the idea of trying to put it through the process of reconciliation, you know, for anybody who's worked up on Capitol Hill, trying to carry legislation through, um, uh, w through reconciliation is like trying to carry a manhole cover down the street. It yeah. is very, very <laughs> difficult. That's because that, it's heavy and bulky. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we like to ask you sometimes to put on the hat of the opposing the opposing You'll party. Do this, yeah. As, so, so you're advising President Obama, and uh, and he gets a thumping today. What do you say tomorrow? Well, I think there has to be a level of humility. There has to be some sort of recalculation that you've lost the center. And what is it that the center is so frustrated with? Well, they're frustrated that Washington's become very partisan. They're frustrated that it's not solution-oriented. And they're frustrated about this seeming disconnect. I think the most important thing for anybody with a, with a thumping like this, be they Republican or Democrat, is to acknowledge that there's disconnect and to set forward some sort of metrics, some sort of concrete plan um, to reconnect with voter uh, anxieties and get back to solution-oriented politics. Now, we saw hints of, of some of that on Sunday when he was up in Boston, say, uh, and I think when he was um, also speaking at a church here in Washington, mm -hmm. D.C. Sunday morning where he said, I get you're angry. You should be angry. That, you know, I mean, he, he tries to do a little bit of that. Um, and yet every signal we read in the paper out of the White House seems to be doubling down and defiant and pushing forward with the agenda. Um, I, I, although I'm not quite sure that President Obama's on board. Well, I mean, look, 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 your, your previous guest said the exact same thing, that the president has to go out and fight harder, that the president has to go out there and um, uh, be more emphatic for, for the left of center policies that have gotten them into trouble right now. I mean, the winning coalition that President Obama put together that, and that the Democrats benefited from ha had to do with um, some Republicans, a big chunk of independents, and rallying their base. Well, they've lost the independents. That's the part that's really fracked, that left their political coalition in tatters. Uh, and the thing that's, there, that's driving that anxiety right now among independents is this Washington, dis Washington disconnect on spending and deficit. So there has to be some sort of acknowledgement that the president has failed on those, uh, on those issues and that he has to fix it. And quickly, Kevin, would you anticipate this just changing the, the electoral landscape? Democrats going to be running for the hills? Uh, I think that um, the, you, a lot of these uh, Democrats in what you would consider majority maker yeah. seats, those 50 seats that uh, John McCain won uh, in 2008 that had now have Democrat office office holders, um, they are going to take a look at every single vote with a new level of uh, scrutiny. Never mind what it says about And also, I think, I think, again, like the Bob McDonald win, um, many Republicans are going to look at this as a template for reaching independent voters. Kevin Madden, our urban answer to James Carville. The <laughs> hey. I like that. That does it for this edition. Click, click us on again tomorrow. Twitter.com slash the note.